Hello and welcome. You're right here at the Virgin Rose Resort here in Victoria Island, Lagos. We are the 2018 a deal with the marathon student is taking place and this is the season three and we are here on the red carpet to bring to you all the glaze and all the glamour the styles and the fashion that is going on here today on this event i remember this program is brought to you courtesy of platform communications here and we are here on wings tv to bring you all the sights and all the sounds the glitz the glamour the colors and all the fashions here on the red carpet and i remember your humble ambassador my name is michael young we will be back shortly, so stay with us. Thank you. Hello, good morning, and welcome right here on Virgin Rose Resort Centre. We are the 2018 a deal with the Marathon Stadium that's taking place right here. I mean, we're here to bring you all the glitz, the glamour, the sights, and how it's going on here this morning. And I remember your humble host here on the red carpet. My name is Michael Young. Well, I remember this, theme, this program is brought to you courtesy of Platform Communications with the theme repositioning Nigerian maritime academics and students for new opportunities and technologies in global maritime operations. And I'm lucky to have one of a great personality here with me. Hello, good morning, ma. Good morning. Let's come with you, ma. My name is Mary Madu Haman, the president of Women's International Shipping and Trading Association. I'm equally a staff of Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency. Looking at the program we have today this morning, it's all about you know a, it's a day with a student of marriage. And what is it all about? To you? It's all about um, uh, bringing awareness to the youth about what is happening in the maritime industry. Okay, looking at the women, normally say that uh, the male are dominating. Well, now you don't look at the women are now coming up to take over. So what do you have to say concerning this? Yeah, the, that's why I'm here. As a woman, I'm the president of Women in Shipping, and uh, this is part of what we do, trying to encourage the uh, women or the female uh, to come into the shipping industry. We've been preaching to them or telling them that this is not just a man's job. Women can do it better. We have women in different positions. We have women that have occupied big positions in the maritime industry. We had had uh, the former DG of Nimasa, uh, Mfong Usoro, and then we have senior advocates uh, that are maritime lawyers. We have Jin Chiazo, former president of Wisa Nigeria too. She's a maritime lawyer. And we have many things that women can come and do in the maritime industry, not just going on board vessel, but they have job-related um, maritime uh, jobs related that they can do and then uh, they can go on on board vessels for a time you know w women we we have time uh, we can expire on the sea there are times that we need to come off and uh, make babies and then there are times that uh, when we are not making babies we can be very very useful on board vessels Lovely. I must say, you're looking beautiful this morning, ma'am. So tell me, how many minutes or many hours take you to put on this, the makeup and the way? How many hours? It doesn't take long. I'm a civil servant and I know that I don't have time to waste. And it's just to rub my powder, put my lipstick. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you very much, ma'am. Have a lovely morning. Dear. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, sir. So can we meet you, sir? I'm Captain Fola Ujutalayo. A consultant, instructor, and a lecturer in the industry. It's wonderful. Being the man here, you know, the city that we may not get more position over there in the maritime. So coming out today to you know to give some lectures in today. What do you think? Is that it's time for the women to come out to in their place in the maritime sector? Well, first and foremost, I will say that I want to commend the organizers of this program. Uh, Mr. Obasi has been doing a lot about campaign on girls going to see and uh, we have been seeing the effect of that in various spheres of maritime industry and one of the uh, important programs is this particular third edition of a day out with maritime students uh, is a way to encourage maritime students generally be it male be it female put in your best and you will get recognized you know so we this is one of the ways of showcasing and encouraging ladies, uh, girls, generally. Any aspect of maritime industry that you want to develop yourself, the sky is not even your limit. The only thing you need is that courage to be able to step into the industry 
raise up your shoulders and then move on. You know, looking at you, you're looking, you're putting on native today. Let me say, are you the, are you the kind of people that prefer Nigerian native attire or just you feel like putting on those today? Yeah, sure, I do. I'm a Nigerian, so why won't I promote Nigerian ways? Definitely, you're, look, definitely you're looking good. You're looking good on it, trust me. You rocked it very well, sir. So have a lovely day, sir. Hello, you're still on here on the red carpet of a day with the Marathon students here and Virgin Rose Resort Center. Have another person here on the red carpet. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. How we meet you, sir? My name is Captain Obunto Mbolu All right. So tell me, sir, a day with the Marathon students, what is it all about to you? Well, uh, for me, this is the first time I'm coming here for this program. Though I know it's the third edition, but I do know that it's a program set up to encourage students, uh, be it female or male, you know, in the maritime industry. So, like now, like you said, the maritime, mostly it is that the men are the dominant of the maritime sector. Do you believe that or not? Well, for now, men are dominating, but I, I, I can assure you I have a long list of women who are in the industry and who are doing well as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Have a lovely day, sir. God bless you. This program is brought to you courtesy of Platform Communications, and I have a lovely set of people here. I mean, they're looking amazing with the uniforms. Well, let me start from here. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Regina Ensert, my name. All right, so what's your name? Olua Shagun, my name. So, yours? I'm Ajay John, my name. Tell us, a day with a marathon student, what is it all about to you? Um, it's all about we coming together to put our mind, our thoughts together, and at least I expect we'll be able to achieve something great from this meeting. I expect at the end of this meeting, we should be able to meet prominent people in the maritime industry, and we should be able to pour out our hearts to them, and be able to tell them what we face and what we expect of them, because we are coming up as the next future personnel in the maritime industry. Thank you. So what are your thoughts towards that? Uh, my thoughts was that uh, just bringing the maritime students together so that they won't just finish the academy and sit back at home without getting a job or looking for a place to do IT. To me, the maritime, the maritime school is just, to, is just to build you up in the maritime sector and after everything, they ought to push to a place to get something to do and not just sitting back at home with a certificate doing nothing. So tell us, what are your expectations in this program? Well, like my colleague, rightly said, just to pour out our minds purely to the people that will be coming around and to share our thoughts with other people that will be on ground today. I've been here once and it's, it was very nice. We talk about a lot of things, but action speaks. So we need action this time around. So can you stop, let me come to see you now. You hear that sometimes the men dominate more in this maritime sector. So I don't really know what's so be about this. Is it true or false? It's true. What do you think can be done towards that? Uh, I would just like to invite the government to just provide a um, job opportunity for we cadets because um, after our IT or after our academic school, we find it difficult uh, for job opportunity in maritime sectors. So we are here to just invite the government to just provide this for us. So after we leave the school for our, our academically, so we just go direct to the board of university to work. It's yeah, really amazing. People are looking beautiful and looking handsome. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. I have this beautiful mommy. Mommy, I must confess, you're looking beautiful. You rocked this for me this morning. You just made my day. I'm telling you. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. I will meet you, man. My name is Jean Chairs Anishere. I'm a maritime lawyer. And please, I've seen a woman who is in a maritime. I mean, you know, it comes to an extent whereby you see only male dominating. I mean, a woman being a lawyer. So how do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> okay, looking at today's event, which is a day with a marriage student, what do you think is all about for you? Oh, for me, it's a celebration for Obasi, who is a coordinator of the maritime platforms, you know, to encourage our young ones who have finished. I, I hear that they're not just students. Some of them have graduated with distinction in their various fields of study um, to be... Um, showcase for the purpose of employment most importantly because there are many entrepreneurs CEOs like myself who are not privileged to meet these people unless they come to us to do their applications you know and some of them don't know us to know where to go to so using the bus's platform you know we get to see these young ones 
encourage them by giving them appointments in our various offices and not only that, giving them a talk on how rough the tide is, but then again how you can sail through it. And if we can do it, then they can because they are the future of tomorrow. Right. One more question. So in what way do you think that the government should come in to help? I mean, to reach at the rate of earning, but not, not after going through those training programs and we came out no job. In what way the government has to come in to reduce the rate of unemployment in the sector? Uh, to support platforms like Obasi's platform, maritime platforms, um, when they go to them for sponsorships of this great event, and then again to get to know such units where young ones who have excelled in their various ways of study, you know, are put together like, like by way of data. And then the government can offer them employment where there is vacancy in some government power status like NIMASA, MPA, Nigerian Shippers Council, you know. If we have platforms like Maritime Platforms and they have data of such brilliant students, then I think they can go there and, and get to tap into that data. Thank you very much for having me on the red carpet. Have a lovely day, man. Hello, I have you with me. Two lovely gentlemen here by my side. You are looking lovely. The white shirt and all that looking amazing. You know, the red carpet is about the slayers. We are slaying it here on the red carpet. Both the kings and the queens are making way here on the red carpet. So, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. My what's your name? My name is Obuntari Damola. And what's your own name? Makla Dibenga. Okay, tell us. I see you're a participant, right? So, tell us, maritime. We hear about maritime and maritime. So, what do you think maritime is all about to you? Okay, for me, um, I'm representing Maritime Forum, including himself. So, for me, Maritime Forum is a very big avenue for students and practitioners already in the field into shipping and admiralty, into passage of cargoes through the sea. So, he has to do it one way or the other, law of the sea. He has to do with um, cargo, shipping, and all of that. But if you're looking at the organization of this program, so what do you have to say to them? It's not easy organizing such a platform. So what word of encouragement do you have to say to the organizers of this program? Um, it's a wonderful avenue. It's a wonderful platform. They are doing a really nice, wonderful job. Um, we, uh, we, they had the last, the second edition, that was wonderful. People, my members, members of the forum were like, we must be here this time. So we are here to show our support and also participate and show love and do what we can to show our support to them as well. That's lovely. So thank you very much, gentlemen. Have a lovely day, sir. Hello, I have another personnel here with me. I mean, he's looking good, trust me. Red carpet is only meant for those in the working class in the fashion industry. But I have someone here in the economy in the rocking this here on the red carpet it makes a lot of sense to me this morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you doing? I'm very fine. So what's your name, sir? I'm simply Captain Alfred Oluwa Shagun Olia. So telling us, a day for the maritime students, what is it all about? Today we trust out the problem in the industry and see how we can position um, the maritime sector and that's why we are here. So, I heard a lot saying you know, some people have graduated from the platform and all that kind of yeah, they don't have a work. I mean, with this kind of platform, this kind of platform, I mean, they're able to, you know, get their debtors and all that to take them to, to various offices, they're able to be employed. So what do you have to say concerning that? This is exactly why we are here. To put heads together and see how we can solve the problem on ground. But I believe every problem has a solution. Every problem, unless we don't want to solve the problem. So there's a pro there's a solution for such problem, and that's why we are here. She's looking beautiful from her dress into her head. I mean, I really admire you this morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, thank you. Tell us what inspired you to dress this way because you're looking. <laughs> well, I'm actually speaking today, so I thought I would dress to kill. Yeah, yeah, but <gasps> all right. Tell us, okay. As being the uh, someone speaking today, so what are you going to speak on today? Um, I'm actually a discussant. Um, I'm going to be discussing the second paper on repositioning our camp maritime academies to prepare our students for opportunities, new opportunities, and technologies in global maritime trade. So I'm looking forward to listening to the speaker. Obviously, I've prepared some of my points, but then I will draw from whatever the speaker says and sort of leverage on that to um, form my own discussion. You know, like this, like this thing, uh, the female are not really more into the maritime. Would well, like to say because the, the nature of the job, or let's say, is a man-dominated form of job. So, what do you have to feel about this? 
Uh, well, as a top female executive in the maritime industry, I'm actually Chief Operating Officer for Stars Investments Company Limited, a company that has been in existence for 31 years, um, and uh, we currently own a fleet of five vessels. I have championed the cause of women in the maritime industry, right, starting from the cadets. So we have a policy in our organization, our trainee cadetship scheme, training scheme, we actually make provision for female cadets. So we're one of the few, who are only, the only company that actually deliberately goes out and we Reserves slots, training berths for females in the industry. Currently, as I speak to you, we have about four female cadets on board our vessels. We've graduated two others from last year, and we actually have a second engineer, a female second engineer, who's currently sailing on board our vessel. So we champion that cause. We think it's fantastic. I mean, train a woman, you empower a woman, you empower a nation. Yeah, that's really amazing. I must say, I'm, I'm still looking good. I don't know how to say it, but we'll see you later. Thank you very much for gracing the rest cap. Have a lovely day. Good morning. Good morning. Please, what's your name? Angela. Thomas Angela. Alright. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please, what's your name? Mr. Francis Inauru. Alright. Let's start from Mr. Francis. Been looking at what's the team today, a day with a married to students. So what is it all about? I don't really understand. Uh, sure, it's about bringing all maritime students together, interaction, having a sense of belonging, knowing more about the professions as well, and putting them together from far and near to have a single ideology of maritime. So, and the 2016 was okay, 2017 was also good, but 2018, I think, is wild. The kind of personality I'm seeing. Wow, that's amazing. Now we come to you to the lady. First, I love your outfit, very simple but classy. Trust me. So tell me, Maritime, is this, is this your first edition coming to this program or is this the second one we've been here? First, this is the first. Okay, tell us, what are, what are your expectations today? Well, I first have met one expectation that is meeting a lot of Maritime students because you know, we don't actually get to see ourselves very often. So as I've done that, another expectation is like learning more, getting to know other people because I this is where I'm going to work in future. So like getting to know people, getting to know how the industry works so it will be easier for me when I graduate and have to move into the market. I love that statement, where you want to work in future. You know, have this, this, this ideology that this job is really for male folks, like in put you understand. Like here's someone like you're saying you want to work here in future. I mean, it's a side thing, it's a female aspiring to work here in future. So what word of encouragement do you have to tell to pl platform communications for organizing this event? Well, thank you very much for this event. It's a very, very nice one is great it's something that we should always look forward to and i really hope to be here next year and i hope this year's event goes well that's basically it thank you all right what's your word of encouragement please just to say thank you uh platform communication actually uh, this uh, avenue for me i'm meeting old people old friends in the industry and uh, connecting together so i think they're awesome so thank you thank you very much have a lovely day god bless you See you on Wednesday. We bring you all the best of entertainment on Diluted here. We are seeing you on Virgin Rose Resort Center. We are the 2018 a deal with the Maritime Stadium is taking place. I have another gentleman. I'm gonna see you looking good with your outfit today. So tell me, how come? What inspiration behind your outfit this morning? Yeah, actually, it's because of what is happening here today. I just <laughs> want to look smart, and I think that's okay for me too. I'm telling you, look. Tell me. Also, tell me. Maritime, maritime, maritime. You're a man, and we all know that men are dominating the sector. So you, as a man, do you think that it's right for the female folk to come in, or it's in the place of the woman just in the kitchen? Okay, uh, actually, the maritime industry, though predominantly, is for men, the way they look at it. Okay. But because of this uh, thing that Platform Reporter is doing, you know, taking the campaign from one place to another, yeah, it's going to help a lot to think, to change people's perception about the whole thing. And at the end, women too will be able to feature him. You know, like what one of the previous uh, speakers also said that actually it's actually about perception, yeah. you know, that about women. But because of this campaign now, if we can have a better government support from there, we'll be able to have a better orientation for our women. You know, organizing such a platform is not an easy one. Uh, we really need more stakeholders, or let's say the government. So in what way do you think that the government could come in to support this kind of platform? Okay, like a uh, platform reporter, like what uh, we are doing presently. You know, government can come in to, you know, to make the next edition of this more elaborate. And we can also even take it to other states as well, oh. you know, across the nation, so that people can have this orientation. And at the same time, it's also going to change the face of the industry and it also helps us to advertise Nigeria to the outside world as well. Wow, wow, wow. 
Thank you very much. So have a lovely day, sir. God bless you. Good morning to you. What's your name? My name is Victor. All right. Hello, what's your name? My name is Michael. Mm. My name's C. Whoa, you know the carry I told you guys. So tell us, a day with a married student, what does it all about for you? For me, it's a time of interacting with the maritime students and then exposing them to more of the opportunities we have in maritime. You know, when they rub mind with the people in the field already, they are more, they receive more um, of exposure, they receive more insight of what maritime is all about, and they, their hearts are strengthened to invest their time and their energy in the course and in the discipline. Come over to you. Is it your first time of attending such a program? Yes, this is my first time. So I know your expectations are very high. So what are you expecting today? I, I'm expecting to meet the real stakeholders in the industry to wow. interact with them. I'm a maritime student. Wow. So I have a lot of questions I want to ask. Wow. Wow. I, I, want to, I want to ask them what's, what the future is, of, is for the maritime field. Right. And hopefully I'll get more insights and get more informed about right. the maritime industry at large. So tell us the organizer of this program, Platform Communications, what word of encouragement you have to give to them today? I want to say this is a great platform for maritime students or for everybody involved in the maritime field. It's, I, want to, I want to appeal to them to continue bringing this, bringing this up even with the adversity or anything they might face. Right. And I want to say the sky is the starting point for them. What's your last word of advice or encouragement to Platform Communications? Okay, Platform Communications is doing a good job by putting this um, program together. You know, it's a very timeless opportunity. Now, uh, especially to the maritime students, okay. it's very timeless. So I want to encourage them to not just continue, but to do their best. Right. Put the students together and then they will hit a lot of targets. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm here with the boss himself, the brain behind platform communications. You know, I don't know the inspiration that he has that gave him this ideology to bring sort of a wonderful event like this. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Let's come meet you, sir. My name is uh, Silvano Zabasi, CEO, Platforms Communications. Wow, sir, I mean, what gave you that inspiration to organize such, I mean, an event like this? Well, um, in 2014, I attended uh, an event organized by the de department in the uh, Federal College of Fisheries and Marine Technology. That's uh, precisely the marine engineering students. And uh, the SUJ invited me, president then. Okay. And when I came in there, they were um, having paper presentation by some source persons. So I w listened keenly to the discussion, and I saw in those young guys a yearning to interact with the maritime professionals. Wow. A yearning to have, you know, that sense of belonging. They have many unanswered questions. They don't know who to ask to. They don't know who to relate to. So I saw a need to bring together all these students with the industry practitioners. So they get to have a platform to ask questions, add their challenges and get solutions from the professionals because they are the future leaders of this industry. Definitely. You know, organizing such a program like this, you know, that it's always, it wasn't always easy. So tell us how far, you know, I mean, this is third edition, am I right? Yes. So how has it been so far with you? Well, by the grace of God, it's been wonderful. Uh, it's been challenging financially. But platforms, as a young media firm, may not have all the financial resources to do this. But uh, because it's a God, God's given idea and vision, and it's also an idea that is meant to serve humanity, God always provides for us. So we write to some stakeholders, groups, write to some industry practitioners, write to some government agencies, and they saw the nice concepts. They keep supporting us. I mean, it's, it's, very, it's lovely. I mean, it's touching. I mean, it's not everybody has this kind of mindset, this vision to carry it out the way you've carried And here you are today, season three. I mean, it's really amazing. We really applaud you for that. So tell us, what we do so that the government can come in to support this? Well, um, they can come in many ways. One is uh, presence. We call it a day with Nigerian maritime students. We didn't call it maritime students conference. Right. So they don't, they, don't, they don't just think it's maritime for students. Yeah. A day with Nigerian maritime students means the students, the practitioners, right. and all those that matter in the industry, both government agencies, right. come and be with the students. Wow. Listen to them. They are your children. It's just like a parent coming to listen to a child with the aim of helping the child solve his challenges. Because definitely a child will take over from the parents. Definitely. And if you don't guide him, he may not be well equipped. Yeah. 
I used to tell them that in the next 10 years, 15 years, some of us may not be here again. These are the ones that we take over. So we need to have a succession plan. So the best way, the, one of the ways they can come into be present here, I value that very importantly. Then we also talk about support, by way of financial support. Like the resources, the logistics, we need to put this through. They can also bankroll some of these things. Then we have come up with an initiative of rewarding academic excellence. Today, we're, like we did last year, we're going to be giving an award to the 10 best graduating maritime students in different maritime studies. Worst of the master to say, okay, the best uh, uh, students in this course, I will give you automatic employment. Mm -hmm. Shippers Council, another agency, the best student in this, I will give you automatic employment. Or some government agencies, or some private companies. Like we have um, Stars Investment Company, one of which logo is here, who has given automatic employment to wow. two persons already. That's like the person that will be the best graduating not course science student and marine engineering. So the own is guaranteed, but we're still pushing for others, and we're conversing that others can key in to you know, reward academic excellence. I mean, that's amazing from the board himself, the coordinator of platform communication, organize such events. I mean, the government should come in, come and support. This is a very, very laudable, I mean, platform. Come, we need the support. I'm not forgotten. You're looking good. I'm telling you, you're looking dapper this morning. You are feeling, and I love it very much. So have a lovely day, sir. God bless you. You're welcome.